Welcome to the talk show, The Power of Women in Business, the show for international business women to get inspired with best practices and insights on how to scale up your business internationally. Your host is Tineke Rensen from Holland. She is well known for supporting female business owners to expand their business massively and internationally. Tineke is an international business expert for 28 years and is the author of the book, Maximum Business Growth for Women. It is time that women step up and create bigger businesses so that women can make a bigger impact in the world. Enjoy this powerful show as Tineke Rensen and her guest expert combine their brilliance in business to help you take your business to the next level. Hi there, everybody. Here we are, episode number four of the Power of Women in Business show. And today I welcome a very special guest, Ivana Dahan. And before we start, hi, hi, <laughs> before uh, we start diving into the conversation, because I know Ivana has a lot of valuable content to share about doing business internationally, I would like to introduce her. Ivana is a female entrepreneur in a man's business since 17 years. She owns her own recruitment agency for technical staff in Holland. She knows exactly what she does and what the do's and don'ts are when it comes to business. She was almost bankrupt and still she managed to earn millions in a few years time. She founded her businesses and the last one, Ivana Bags, one and a half years ago. She's her own, she created her own luxury line of exclusive handbags which has her own name, Ivana. She's building this globally and she has been approached to design a custom-made Ivana handbag with a matching tie for the royal family in Monaco. Recently, she became the award winner of Handbag Designer of the Year 2018 in the Netherlands. So Ivana is definitely an expert when it comes to business. And it is her mission to reach out to all the women in the world, to encourage and inspire them, to live their life to the full potential, but our most important message is, dare to be yourself. Hi, Ivana. <laughs> How are you? I'm very fine. I'm enjoying the sunshine today. It's a very beautiful weather. And thank you very, very much for your introduction. And uh, to having me here on this platform to reach out to all the women in the world, fantastic. Wow. Well, I can see you like to start. We're both really excited. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. So, so, you know, this is a talk show where we talk about going uh, and doing business internationally. So why did you decide to go global? Because... Uh, to be honest, I'm very exciting about uh, traveling, meeting new people, uh, find out different solutions, learning from that, uh, talk to other people in the world, learn about their culture, uh, what drives them, what kind of difficulties do they have, is it uh, very much different to do business in those countries uh, in comparison of Holland. So. That was my trigger and of course the idea is the world is so much bigger than uh, you know Holland and where you're living and it's it's so much interesting to find out all the all these differences and that's how you will receive all the answers and then yeah I just decided to go and do it. Wow, I, lo I love your motivation because uh, that's that's yeah. one of my motivations as well because yeah. I love to travel <laughs> and meet new yeah. people. Yes, and I think a lot of people uh, next to us, the both of us, they know uh, that these kind of things, that's very interesting and inspiring and you learn a lot by doing it and uh, that's why I decided to do it too. Yes. So it's a very personal motivation for you. It's not because you want to be huge or that, that you want to conquer the world. It's because you like to meet people and you like to travel. Yes, of course. I would love to conquer the world. But 
for me, it's 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 my passion, and I love to do it. And when I uh, contact with all these women or other people, I get inspired myself. And um, what I already said is, you learn so much about it. And uh, I want to encourage and inspire other people. And when you talk with women or or men, you hear about what they have to say, and we all have our difficulties and. And we learn from each other and mm. that's how we can support each other. And that's very wonderful to, to do it and to connect uh, because of that. Yeah. And now you, you worked in a male uh, dominated industry uh, and you still do. But besides that, you s made a 180 degree, degree uh, turn and now you're working in the female uh, industry, fashion of all. And you created a very, very special handbag. So what's so special about this? Yeah, the special thing about the luxury line I have is it's, uh, first of all, it represents the story of my life. Maybe there will be one day I can express and tell a lot of people about my history and how I came to the idea. And um, that's why I did it. Because one thing you can ask yourself, there are a lot of handbags. Why should people buy yours? And why uh, is your bag more special than all the other beautiful uh, bags we already knew? And uh, the thing is, uh, first of all, it's about me. And what I did is I changed, I, no, let me tell you, uh, I decided, I created one basic model. And mm -hmm. it's in a bigger version, it's called the Max Me. And in a smaller version, it's called the Mini Me. And what the bags made uh, them special is they have a changeable part at the front side of the bag. And that's called the Switchy. So when you like, for example, a pink, uh, the pink color, and you would like to choose a pink uh, bag because it matches with your clothes or whatever, with your jacket, then you can choose a lot of different types of switches, materials and colors, so you can change them every time. So today you wear the pink uh, bag with a black switchy and tomorrow you have one with a, with a blue switchy, whatever you like. This, is, this concept is all about you and your identity and the story you represent. So I wish one day that the whole world will have uh, Ivana back and we all have then the story we can share about uh, why did you make your handbag like this? Exactly wow. why I did uh, what I'm doing. And I think that's very inspiring. Wow. You know, I, I love to hear this. Uh, I interviewed uh, Giselle Rufer of the Lance Watches and she has a similar story, but she expresses it with her designer watches, Swiss made. Um, so it's it's about showing your identity and that's yeah. you, that's that's the statement you, you give when you buy a bag, when you buy yeah. your bag. Yes, definitely, because I truly believe we all have our baggage. We all have our story, not especially me. And uh, we can also create a customized bag, especially as the way you wish you want it to have. Maybe you have a, a typical kind of material. It reminds you of your children, uh, maybe of your grandparents or whatever. Or maybe it's it's picture of your child or your dog, whatever. Mm -hmm. We will everything to make it happen and then we guarantee if we customize the bag especially for you that you will never ever find the same one in the whole world wow. because, why because it's about you it's your identity and you can't be copied that's what i try to say definitely an identity yeah. cannot be copied no. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you make it possible for you to work in other countries well, uh, you have to start one day, of course. And um, to me, it became to an idea, how can I expose and show the world what I have and my idea? And of course, the story behind it. For me, that's much more important than selling an, a beautiful object, in this case, like a handbag. So I decided 
to show my luxury line at the luxury event in Amsterdam for the first time. It was in December 2016. And from that moment on, it was a good decision because you you meet a lot of people. They come to your to you, uh, try to talk with you. They found my product very interesting, and that's how the ball was going. And I traveled from that moment on all over Europe. And yes, from one city to another, and that's how I start building a global business. Wow! So, so it all started with one show in Amsterdam. Yeah. Yes, it all started with one show, and from that moment on, people approached me and they said, "You make a very, very nice product. Would you like?" to show your product, uh, in this case, in Monaco. So I traveled to Monaco. I've been to uh, London. I've been to Paris. I did several uh, fashion shows, also in Amsterdam. And uh, it was amazing and a very, very great experience for me too. Yes. So I, I know which fair you're talking about because I'm from Holland. It's it's a quite an expensive one. So you, you did take a risk. but. That's yeah. It, yeah. Uh, it's exactly. I, I think it's very good that you mentioned the word risk because, um, you know, I always say we post a lot of nice pictures on Facebook or Instagram and, and share the, the beautiful things in life uh, and the business we're running. But behind every picture, there is a story, of course. And if you have an idea, you need to be very sure about it. And I truly believe in what I'm doing, and it will be fine at the end, but you need to take risks. Without risk, you can't go to the next level. And uh, nobody, unfortunately, will take your hand and, and say, oh, don't worry, everything will be fine. <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> it will, only if you believe. Yeah. But we Remember one thing, never give up. Whatever happens, you have to go and, and go on. Whatever, do whatever it takes. That's that's one of the, the yeah. main and big uh, messages I have also. So I think you are a very good example for this because I know many women are afraid to take risks. So yeah. how do you do this? Um, a few... Weeks ago, I was at an event and I shared a little bit about my knowledge, my experiences. So I know everything about what you don't need to do and what's better you do. We all uh, have to pay a, a high price. And one of the things I was uh, telling at that event was you need to have a second plan. And when I had this idea, uh, I was not afraid because I didn't know what to expect. But I had my, uh, a second plan and I called that plan, plan B. Mm -hmm. So what will happen in worst case scenario if something, if you run out of money, if you can't make your eye uh, true or you meet people and they don't commit the way you're supposed to, agree with each other mm. need to have money aside so whatever happens it that it won't take you down because that's not why you're chasing a dream and because i manage that i don't have this fear so i'm really working from one day to another step by step and i always look very carefully before I make a decision. And it doesn't mean that I won't make a mistake again. It's good to make a mistake, but to make one, and I don't want to call mistake because mistake, the word mistake is a little bit heavy, I think. Mm. Learn from it. It's, it's an experience. And because of that, you change the way you work. And I cannot make it more beautiful than reality will show us because this is the reality mm. you build a beautiful business 
a very good foundation for ourselves, our family, people around us. But we need to be very uh, clear in what we want and how we do it. Yeah. And the one who is telling us, oh, there is no fear, you can do it and do it like this. No, that's not the reality. You need to be very straightforward, mm -hmm. but keep on going. And uh, I, I can talk the whole evening I think, <laughs> about these kind of because it, it, they inspire me too. Yeah, but to summarize for you, um, whenever you feel that there is a risk, uh, I, I know that because I feel nervous, uh, I feel tension, you decide to come up with a plan B. Yeah, Just always. In case. Before, yeah, before I start. Mm. Because um, it's, it's good to have an idea and when I uh, made my my back and I, I saw the first one in reality because you start with the drawing on paper and then after a while it's become a real product and people can see it, they can touch it, they can buy it. Yeah, you feel like a child in a candy store. But that, that is uh, where it starts, not from the, uh, from the drawing table because a piece of paper and a pen doesn't cost nothing but from that moment on then the the, the big yeah work mm. is is starting to happen yeah and you know i think you're you're such a beautiful role model uh, ivana because Thanks. you don't come from the fashion industry you no. had no experience you yeah. just wanted to do something totally different you had a dream you wanted women to express themselves with something that you create and you just started. Yes. So, ladies, this it is possible. <laughs> yeah, I really believe. And even when you're when you're telling this, it, it it brings me a smile on my face because that's what drives me. Mm. Not the idea of selling a beautiful product and 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 the money. Of course, money is very important, but no, that's not my purpose in life. Mm. I really want to and and of course I totally forget about it I want to reach out what is my highest goal in life and am I capable of doing something completely different I needed to challenge myself a lot of people surround me they say you are crazy mm -hmm. you have a you have a wonderful business and a good life so what's wrong mm -hmm. I'm not happy <laughs> I want to do something that makes me happy. Yeah. And if I can help other people with that, yeah. Why yeah, should so I? Yeah, so never, never listen to the naysayers. Oh, no, no. Always follow your passion. And it, it's exactly what you say. I didn't have the, uh, the knowledge about it. I, I only transformed my thoughts into a product. And in this case, it, it is, a, is a beautiful handbag and for other people it could be something different. So once again, listen to art. <laughs> you will never ever yeah. can imagine how wonderful things you can do with it. Yeah, so we will showcase some of your handbags at the end of the video so people can see how really they, uh, exceptional they are. Yeah, um, thank you. So, what have you learned from doing business internationally, Ivana? Yeah, what I is is a lot, and uh, some thoughts I had before I started, they became reality. Other thoughts which I never had th uh, thought about it, uh, so they came true also, and they made me realize uh, different things. Mm -hmm. uh, what is very difficult is to building a brand, building, uh, a, uh, let the people know that you're there, what's your mission, why should they collaborate with you, and all these things looks very easy, but to be honest, they can be easy, but you have to put a lot of effort into it, and you have to uh, network a lot, mm -hmm. uh, talk to a lot of people, uh, 
always go everywhere you you can go to events and that's how i built my network with a lot of people uh, all over europe and uh, because of that i am capable now uh, to say to a few people they already recognize my product and say oh you are the lady with the handbags you make this beautiful uh, 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 switches you which you can change on your uh, on your uh, handbag and that's how now I'm starting to negotiate with people who are interesting to doing business with me mm -hmm. so now I'm in the procedure to think what is the best thing uh, what do I want um, when I work with them yeah and another and I, I know there was a huge deal that, that you could have uh, had and it, it's already, it was in the beginning, uh, I believe, but you turned it down uh, and, but, and you could have been in many uh, flagship stores. Yes, yes. I've been uh, approached twice um, in a foreign country. They invited me to come and I took, I bought, bought a ticket and I, and I flew there. And I had uh, twice a conversation with those people, but and it was a, a huge business deal. We were not talking about, uh, you know, I think people will understand what I mean. Um, but I said to them, listen, thank you very much. I want to think about your proposal and get back to you. And one of my uh, advices is also if you can make a deal don't do it exactly at that moment because nine of the ten times you will regret uh, maybe not but this is uh, based on my experience and uh, when I get home I, I thought about it and I rejected and I, I, I uh, called them and I said I'm very sorry thank you for calling me and the opportunity but I don't have a good feeling about it and that's also exactly what I told them so I didn't make up an idea about well, how can I say to those men I don't want to deal with you so I said I'm sorry I won't do it because I don't have a good feeling about it and uh, yeah I think that best thing you can do if you don't trust it mm. what kind of is to do it but you need to be very strong to be able to do this. This would have been a million dollar deal, uh, maybe even more. And you try, you listen to your gut feeling. Yeah. Your handbags would have been all over Europe already by now. Uh, yeah. And something didn't feel right and you no. dared to say no. That takes yeah. a lot of guts. <laughs> yeah, because the mission I carry out uh, is dare to be yourself. Mm -hmm. and that that you have to say sometimes no mm, and yeah uh, but even yeah. when there's no evidence there's just a gut feeling yes yes yeah. yes because we all recognize that something happened in our lives and afterwards we say oh i already had a strange feeling and mm. i'm so sorry i think these are all learning experience yeah and yeah i'm not Nothing, money cannot buy me. That's what I want to say. No, true. So I do what I re what my heart desire is, and and I really listen. I've learned to listen to my feeling. Yes. Mm. So, um, what is your strategy to create your brand awareness, Ivana? The strategy. Yeah. The question is: Is there a kind of strategy? Mm -hmm. I I really think. Because all designers, all business builders, they, they all have a policy, of course, and they all want to have a piece of the market and be better than the competition. And we, we all have these kinds of things. And I think that my idea, uh, because it's very unique, um, I think it will, uh, a lot of people will recognize themselves into it because it's about identity, it's about uh, your personality, it's about your story and live your life through your highest potential. Mm. I think case, branding, 
because um, it's very unique. And of course, you can go, you need to go. That's the same thing I did. You can go to events, uh, do um, commercials on TV. That's also what I did in Holland. Um, connect with people in, for magazines. That's also what I did. You need to do that kind of things. And, and I'm not done yet. There's a lot of work to do also for me. <laughs> and I have a lot of ideas and people who telling me what I could do and I listen to it and I, I think about it. Is, it. is it a good idea? Why not? And yeah, act on that. Yeah. But find your way of being different than what we already have. Yeah. And do, you, do you think it's an advantage or a disadvantage that you have no experience, had no former experience in the fashion industry? Um, I think time will tell, yeah. but if you ask me, I think it's good that I did something without having any experience and knowledge and it's somehow for me it's normal what I did. A lot of people say, but how could you do it? And, and where did it start it? So I'm learning from those people that they are very, uh, um, yeah, they, they think it's very unique what I did uh, because I didn't have, uh, didn't go to school to learn these skills. And yeah, I think in my case it could be, um, yeah, that it was a good. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're nearly uh, coming to the end, uh, Ivana. Oh. Is, is there something you would like to ask our audience or is there something you would like to add to the conversation? What, are you looking for something? Yes, I would love to reach out to, to all the listeners and I hope they, they enjoy it and uh, they will learn a lot of it. But I'm looking for brand ambassadors for, for my products. And uh, so we could connect and then uh, see and talk uh, about my idea. And I'm looking for people all over the world. Mm -hmm. So if they want to connect with me, I have a plan and I want to discuss it with them. And if they have, uh, if they want to learn more about my idea, they can uh, contact me by sending me an email at uh, welcome at ivanabags.com uh, Wow, okay, so ladies, if you're interested in, uh, to become a brand ambassador for Ivana Bags, uh, at the end of this video you will see all uh, Ivana's details and like I told you, some of her handbags so you can see how special they are. It's time to wrap up Ivana. Okay. It's already at the end, I so much enjoyed tapping into your knowledge, your, your willingness to encourage women and help women and be such a good role model for them. So thank you. Yeah, thank you once again, Tineke, for uh, inviting me on this platform. I think it's very fantastic what you're doing and keep on going the good work. And uh, together we can, uh, we can, yes. Yes, Thanks. together we can achieve more. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.